Hello, you all. Welcome back to my channel. If you are a subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey, bro. And back with another video. Okay, so good morning to y'all. So y'all already know what that means. It's Peace and Man mornings, okay? And so I wanted to come and have some coffee with y'all this morning and chat with y'all for a little bit. Um, it's supposed to get really hot today. It's supposed to get up to 95, y'all. I don't know where y'all went, but that's half of me. I'm about to be under my AC today. But <laughs> I'm like, why am I sitting up here drinking this pipe of hot coffee? It's already starting to get hot. But I kind of wanted to talk about something today. Um... I'm always having topics just flowing around in my head and I'm always trying to figure out what can I talk about. And so we are going to talk about beautiful people. Okay, so if y'all ever heard that song, I used to be a huge Chris Brown fan until those allegations really kind of came out. Like I used to be, can't nobody say nothing about Chris Brown. They used to be my husband back in the day, okay? But he made a song that I fell in love with and it's called Beautiful People. Beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. And I just, I don't know, y'all. It's just like, I feel like with YouTube, I have found so many people on here that are just beautiful people, you know? And I have learned so much from these people, like literally. But I just can't want to talk about beautiful people today, okay? Some people, and when I come to talk about beautiful people, I don't mean outer appearances or nothing like that. Like people that just have a beautiful spirit, okay? And I have came across so many people like that. Um, one thing I have came to realize is that when you go through certain things, you know, with people, certain situations, it can't change your view of everyone else, you know? I had made a video. I had, I actually had made a video earlier early this week called Don't Let It Scar Your Heart, okay? And I have not posted it. I was like, I promise. I was like, let me get from out of these IELTS because I have noticed it. Once I start doing my IELTS, I'll be getting so comfortable and to the point where I just be like, dang, it's been a week. Dang, it's been two weeks. Dang, it's been one month since I've been on camera. Like, I like having this um engagement with y'all. But basically, I just wanted to talk about the goodness of people, okay? Um, there's a lot of people out here that have your best interests at heart, okay? And so those are the people that you need to give people their flowers. And I just thought about one person that I was really close with. And when I had first first started, no, actually this was before I started my channel, y'all. And I used to always make a lot of posts on Facebook, like just voicing my opinions, voicing my thoughts about certain things. There was this one lady, she was like a family friend. She was like really close, like a sister. And she would always comment on my stuff. And she was like, man, start that podcast, you know, start that channel. I'm gonna be 100% in full support. And she had wrote her own book. I had ended up supporting her. And it, just, it was just like, we had that connection and she had a beautiful spirit. She had like a beautiful smile. And she was just like a sister to me. And I wanted to come and talk about beautiful people this morning because we be so caught up on negativity to the point where we can't even focus on good people. You know, you got people congratulating you, people supporting you, and we so caught up on negativity. You gotta focus on the positive in this life. Dwelling in negativity, it's not really gonna help you. And I wanted to bring up a few people because it's so amazing because it's like it's just like we got this big world out here and we be thinking like we be getting into that man frame to where when people do what's wrong we let it scar our heart and i'm gonna bring up this one instance that had happened to me now this happened like back in 2015 when i worked at the airport i had came across a situation where i ended up getting the short hand of the stick and it really made me feel some type of way and i was really bothered bad now it was this one co-worker that i used to work with he was a much older guy like he was real cool and he had been working at the airport for about 20 plus years and me and him would talk every day <laughs> i know it's like you know um when i worked at the airport i was working there for like a few years and me and him just became real close and i don't know what it is about me like i always seem to connect better with much older people like i have had people tell me that i have a old soul and i really do believe that i always seem to connect with older people but this older guy he had told me something that really stuck with me for so many years and i always carried it with me throughout my life he said after the situation played out i never forget i used to take my lunch break in the lobby area and it used to be a fireplace in the lobby area it used to be so cozy and so i used to just go sit over there and eat my little snacks the gift shop was directly across from the lobby and i'll just sit there and chill out i was upset this one day and he came over and he started talking to me he was like because he said what he had you know and he said don't let it scar your heart don't let it scar your heart that statement has carried with me don't let the fact that people have wronged you scar your heart okay you keep being a good person don't let people destroy you the last video that i made about spiritually dead people a lot of people are ruined out here because of the things people have done to them they let it get the best of them 
they let their problems in it and the people they have wronged them get the best of them to the point where they end up poisoning future relationships with other people and that's something that i really had to learn over the years i have learned to appreciate the beautiful people in my life you know the people on my channel that support me heavily you know i always come in with that encouragement i really appreciate y'all so much i would never forget this lady like i'm just gonna tell y'all her name her name keisha and she just always was motivating me. Like every single time I would post something on Facebook, she would just be so in good energy and high spirits. And we just, you know, feed, feed off each other energy. Like I can tell that she really saw potential in me. And it's just like beautiful people, beautiful people. There's so many beautiful people out here. And we need to get to know these people and stop focusing on the negativity, you know? It's so easy to look for the wrong in people. When people have done so many wrong things to you, you know, but don't let it scar your heart. Okay. This is another thing I had to learn over the years. I, I'm way, way better at it now. We be self-sabotaging a lot too. Sabotaging future relationships with people because we always want to see the worst in them. You know, if y'all hear some little clicking and stuff in the background, just know I'm just, I'm making a little bit of breakfast this morning. Okay. But yeah, just focus on the positive people. There's so many beautiful people out here. I'm just going to take it back to the next video I did. When you go through certain things with certain people, the Lord is always going to bless you with people that are just like you, okay? That's your reward, okay? And I feel like YouTube is a blessing to so many people. So many people. And we be thinking that we really don't have nobody in our corner. But then when we come on YouTube, we see so many like-minded people, so many positive people, so many bright people with just some beautiful souls, man. Man, this is just, just this whole moment is just me basking in all this in. Like, it's so many beautiful people on my channel. And it was another young woman that just subscribed. And I went to their channel and I seen that they had some really funny videos. And <laughs> that just made me laugh all day yesterday. Because I be the type of person, if somebody subscribes to my channel and I get the notification of who the person is, I will go lurk on their channel and see what their channel is all about. Because I like to know who I'm talking to, you know? But this person had some funny videos. They had me crying laughing all day yesterday. But yes, those are the type of people that you want around you. People with good energy. People with positive energy y'all know i come talk about spirituality a lot on my channel and i talk about a lot of deep dark topics <laughs> that take me to a certain place but that is not the type of energy and space that i like to be in revisiting certain situations with certain people sometimes they take me back to a dark place i don't like to sit and dwell in it you know i'm the type of person that when somebody wronged me i don't like to stay in it you know just because you don't know how to be a good person that's not going to change who i am but yeah this is the main reason why i wanted to make this video because and why i said a lot of y'all are kind of stuck in your childhood trauma and stuff like that people intentionally come to bring you negativity to try to scar your heart because they want you to turn into a negative person they see the light on you they see the goodness in you and they want to come and corrupt you with negativity you know Keep continuing to be the good person that you are. Keep continuing to have the beautiful spirit that you have, okay? Because it's something about it. If you have came across good people before, they give you a slew of stories about people who have tried to take advantage of them. But don't let the wrong that people have done to you change who you are. You can't stop being who you are, okay? Keep on having that light because there's so many people out here that has been destroyed by what people have done to them. You can see where they once had this light, they once had this positivity, and they just had so many people come try to steal their energy, just try to cast negativity onto them, and just change their whole aura. And if you look up and see this person a few months or maybe years from now, you see that this person is worn down mentally, spiritually, all that good spirit is gone, that good spirit has been burnt out by so many negative people. You just like, what happened to this person? <laughs> Where does this person smell? Where does this person good energy? And it's because they let people get to them. They let their problems get the best of them. They let people intentionally, people are intentional with things that they do. Some people just do not like people that have good energy, but they will constantly try to come to bring negativity. Keep continuing to be a beautiful person. Don't let these people get to you. Don't let your fake friends and your toxic family sky you to the point where, you know those people that just have like a real negative aura about them and it's just like, you just can't be around this person. Don't become like that. I'm just going to take it right back to what that man told me when I worked at the airport. Don't let it scar your heart. Don't let it change who you are. And don't let people out here make you feel bad for being the type of person that you are. Good people get a bad rep out here. They like to put a label on good people as that you are weak in some sort of way because of the type of spirit you get. That's not nothing that you can change. It's nothing that you can change. 
And see, the one thing about negative people, that was their intentions. When they came with their negativity, they wanted to break your spirit. They wanted to have you down. They want you to have a frown on your face. They want to be able to ruin your day. And when they look up and they see that it didn't work, it make them feel some type of way. Some people just got a certain aura on them and certain energy on them that's just infectious. I'm subscribed to a few people on my channel. Their spirit is just infectious. It's good. It's positive. They always come to bring this light every time they come on land. <laughs> just being who they are. They come in being themselves unapologetically. Don't apologize for who you are. <laughs> you don't owe nothing to nobody. You continue to be that good, beautiful person. It's beautiful people out here. Get to know these people. Okay, it's a huge world. Anybody that ever felt like they was alone and you just felt like you couldn't trust nobody? You looking every which way, you don't know who to trust? This video is for you. I came to bring y'all some positivity this morning. That's why I had to come show my face, okay? I may be looking all over the place with it because I just woke up this morning, okay? I woke up like this, flawless, okay? Unapologetically me, okay? I'm coming how I'm coming. I know y'all accept me and y'all love me just the way I am, but this video was for y'all this morning. Bang y'all trapped. Somebody had left a comment on my channel couple of weeks ago and they say your vibe is your tribe okay so find your tribe because it's out here okay it's beautiful people out here you are a beautiful person keep continuing to be beautiful stay blessed keep continuing to strengthen your relationship with the lord protect y'all soul and spirit and i will talk to y'all in the next video